Brigadier General Dan Tully here with uh, Lieutenant Colonel Sean Brazel, uh, Expeditionary Force Support Squadron Commander, and we've got the three-minute update for you on COVID-19. So the first thing I'd say is keep those comments coming in. We've gotten a ton of great comments, and I really appreciate all the folks who are focusing on what it means to be a warrior. That warrior ethos really shines through. Now there's some questions that are all about the comfort uh, things and uh, the niceties of living here at LUD that uh, we're happy to answer, but uh, still appreciate very much your focus on our mission here and, and being warriors like we are. So I will thank Colonel Brazel for helping to get the milk back in the DFAC. Uh, it never actually left, it was just we had too many people taking too many bottles of milk, but I understand it's back. Any issues with that today, Sean? No, sir, no issues. We've, uh, we're fully stocked today. All right, we've gotten a lot of questions about lodging and what's going on in lodging and all of the buildings we maintain. So most of the questions reflect the perspective of an airman who lives in one particular building. Keep in mind, we've got over 50 buildings out there, right? And so the questions we're getting are along the lines of, why do I see rooms being emptied out in my dorm or in my double stack and uh, people being compressed and moved into rooms where they have a roommate where they didn't before? especially if uh, things might not change for a while. What would you say to that, Sean? Sir, it still, it comes down to basic force protection. Um, we've got a lot of unused bed spaces out there. We've got, to, uh, we've got to get our folks consolidated. We've still got folks living in the trailers. We've got teams living in the trailers who have certain requirements, crew rest requirements, and we've got to make space to get them over into a hardened facility. And again, it just comes down to force protection and meeting our mission requirements. All right, pretty straightforward. Force protection is our priority. We have a lot of lodging buildings. We want to make sure everyone who can be is in a hardened facility. And those moves are complicated when you're dealing with seven, 8,000 people. So we're making sure we go through this and getting everybody where they need to be. And a reminder that where, the, where we are placing people is based on the input from your commanders and your chains of command. The Installation Lodging Council came up with, hey, here are the business rules. We want to keep units together, air crew together as much as possible. So that's what we're trying to do is meet that ask. Thanks for everything you guys are doing, and again, appreciate your patience. Keep the questions and comments coming.